Hello YouTube, and welcome back to Sea of Stars. In today's game, we got a pirate ship, and then we sailed around. We started a town, and then we ended up discovering a way to link our story with the frame story. Totally crazy. It's a long one today, so I hope you're in it for the long ride. Give us a like if you haven't already, dislike if you don't, subscribe to the channel, please, if you haven't already. That is so helpful for the channel. Let's just jump right into the game. I wanna play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Ooh. <laughs> Greeted with some intensity. Sense of purpose. Okay, so what's going on? Basically, can we leave? Can we jump on the pirate ship? All right. So where we left off, we got off the, the Vespertine. Um, which is here, which we can actually steer around now. And we talked with the, uh, not the captain, but the navigator, who is kind of cool, kind of a ghost. Um, oh, and the steering is actually pretty sick. Look at this. So you accelerate forward and then you can like spin cookies. I freaking love it. Look, we're, like we can make an infinity sign. Dude, look at us. Fucking art. Art on the water. Amazing. Okay, anyway, but we need to liberate the Vespertine from this sea of nightmares that we're at right now, and we need to go to three different islands. This is one of them. And disrupt these channeling rods. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Let's go get it done. So if you haven't played this game before, this is Sea of Stars. Not to be confused with Sea of Thieves, although both are apparently uh, very piratey. What, what are we doing? What are we doing here? You need six of something. We can probably use the crap load to smash those crystals. Well, let's do it. Why are we hesitating? Yeah, Sea of Stars. Uh, JRPG style RPG that is sick. It has mechanics that are totally different than a lot of RPGs that I've played in the past. Dude, how much exploring do we gotta do in the water here? That's crazy. So much. We're cruising. Apparently they just leave these little, what are these? What do we have? What are we getting? Cursed doubloons are just scattered about willy-nilly. Can't climb up there. Anyway, the mechanics in this game are insane. Like, check this out. I'm going to start a combat. Quacha! Grappling hook into the enemy. That gets us those little balls. You see the balls scattered around? Balls scattered is a good thing for us. Very good. All right, what are we going to do? We're going to... We're gonna moonerang. Are we going right? What are we gonna do? I think our best call. Okay, so if you look on top of the, uh, the little pirate with a little uh, pirate skeleton with a bird on his hat to the left, he's got those two icons above him. What we're gonna do is we're gonna swap Zale out for Sarai. And Sarai's got a skill that uses both, at the top you can see blunt and poison damage. We're going to use that. And that took out those two icons. We matched them up because we play matching games like professional gamers. Boom. We don't block like professional gamers, though. Each one of these attacks has like a little little timing mini game built in, and it's amazing. Press X to deflect. 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 You get it. Listen to the birds chirp every time that we hit. Okay. The timing seems like it's pretty easy, but when the enemies are slightly further apart from each other, it does like ever so slightly change the timing of the deflect. And if you get like in a in a kind of vibe with the uh, the timing, you, you might mess it up. I'm just saying you might you might maybe you might mess it up. Okay, 
every attack that you hit, if you hit X exactly when the attack hits, you get a little bonus damage. And you know we're getting the bonus damage. Or not. Most of the time. Sometimes we are. What do we got? Three out of six? Three out of six uh, doubloons? We may as well rest. Oh, here's something we haven't done. So every time that you go to a campfire, you can like just hit X or whatever your button is on your controller. A, if you're playing on Xbox. I mean, technically I am playing on Xbox right now, but I'm using PlayStation controller. Sacrilege. All right, so you can do that. You can cook, so you can cook food, which you can use either during combat or uh, outside of combat. You can only hold 10 food items at a time. You can see that in the top right. And then you use various ingredients that you pick up during the course of your journeys to make food that does different things. This one heals 55 HP and 5 MP. Moon Cradle Fish Pie. It's a delight. It's an absolute delight. You can also, though, walk up to the campfire, hold L1, and get like a Dragon Age style camp scene where you can go and talk to your characters and see what's up. And then, and then... Why do we have a gold doubloon? Or a ghost doubloon icon pop up in the top right. Did you guys see that? And then you can try to hear me uh, voice act, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be kind of cringe. Stormcaller, about time someone puts an end to this. Hmm. Hortense sure is something. Can you imagine holding the bar for that long? So the plan is to claim this ship as ours? Ghost pirates were not on my bucket list, but I'll take it. Boom. We've got Teeks, who has Valley Girl voice, who, uh, that voice, I cannot lock down. I got to practice between streams, honestly. I had to do so much, like, uh, just bookkeeping yesterday for my, my own life, taxes and all that, that I didn't have a chance to practice. Oh, no, we did find a new artifact. Here we go. All right, <clears throat> let me get the zone. Oh, you found a new artifact? Let's see here. New story unlocked. The three sisters. Hey, you want to hear a story? It is said that whenever twins are born on a solstice, fate itself flips a coin. Their innate magic would either be incredibly heightened or corrupted into something that ought to be contained for the greater good. For generations, many solstice warrior twins have accomplished great deeds, but despite their immense potential, could never ascend into guardian gods. For ascension requires one of the winter and one of the summer, but kindred souls are not meant to part for eternity. On a particularly warm summer solstice, Fate's coin landed on its edge, and triplets were born. As the great eagle's instincts indicated, it soon became apparent that morality had split itself in three, as if to see their innate magic expressed in distinct flavors. Because their actions would inevitably drive them far away from one another, they were given annoyingly similar names. Moyara, Yomara, and Ramaya. Oh shit, Ramaya. We actually had a showdown with Ramaya. Moyara was flown to Moon Cradle, where she became a formidable solstice warrior and Zenith Academy's headmistress. Ever the stalwart protector, Moyara gave her life while leading the charge against the Dweller of Strife. Yomara was the neutral one, better known as the Crone of Song Shroom Marsh. Well, I know where we want to go get some shrooms later. Living a secluded life, she's an observer of the distant future, offering cryptic insights on key events and looming threats that may or may not transpire. By age five, she had correctly predicted that the Fleshmancer would leave if the Dweller of Strife were defeated, at the cost of Moyara's life. 
Despite her immense power, she remains impartial in all conflicts. Meanwhile, Romaya devoted her every waking moment to studying what could be understood of the Fleshmancer's ways and developed forbidden arts of her own. Through her understanding of blood magic, she became the first necromancer and devised a way to trap souls within objects. One notable invention of hers is candles that never burn out, noticeable by Romaya's signature green fire. Apparently that technology got out because it's fucking everywhere. Through their extreme commitment to differing paths, the three sisters have prompted countless musings on the choices one makes in life. To bravely and selfishly, selflessly like Moyara, and embrace an early death while fighting for a worthy cause, or to live a quiet and peaceful, albeit solitary life like Yomara, or going ambition for the sake of safety, but never discovering one's true self. Or perhaps to indulge oneself like Romaya, with utter confidence in her ability to overcome any retribution she might face as a result of her corruption. Could the three sisters truly be a trick of fate, or a spiteful game of God's unknown, unknown, unknown? Or is it simply that, in our search for meaning, we sometimes mistake pure happenstance for prophecy? It is probably for the best that we shall never know. The end. Maelstrom point, huh? We can do this. Seeing Hortense stuck here like this, I feel bad for Duke Aventry. Ramaya's like uh, right hand man. Still can't believe Erlina. That's the name. I still can't believe Erlina and Brugavis would do that. All right. Well, there you go. And then you close out by resting or cooking, you know, the usual stuff. Da -da -da. I guess we, uh, we go slap these in here right now. One, two, three. Got three more. I'm guessing they're over here on this side. Fart fist. Fart fist. Uh... Did I make a mistake? Number four. Ah, ah, ah. All right, when you're initiating combat, well, that can happen, I guess. Forget what I was about to say. Fuck me, I guess. Uh, okay, let's do a Moonerang. All right, so our goal is to bust up this lady right here, and hopefully we just kill everybody in the in the meantime, we're going to do a moon ring. And then we're going to do one of Sarai's poison moves. Very similar to moon ring. And the animation is amazing. This one, Venom Flurry. not time that block or that one wow that was uh, a was a little intense right there are you left with three hp come on okay every time you land an attack even if you mess up the bonus like i just did you do uh you do make the balls show And when the balls show, you know, it gives you more opportunity. 
Uh, can we jump in the cannon? Hello? I think we only got two, so we need to find one more. Moichido Okay, yeah, initiating combat with a grapple or just like sneaking up behind them. It gets you a little bonus action. Garl, let's do a cooker surprise. Okay, so it does blunt area damage. Sick. So we can build up. Okay, so when you knock out the enemies when they're casting the spell and they're powering up or whatever, they're in a lock state. And when you bust up a lock, even a little piece of it, you build more combo points. And the combos are pretty sick. We only have half of our combo meter on the left filled up. So we've got we got a little more work to do for that. Um let's Let's actually swap out Sarai for Zale. And then Zale can just do a standard attack on this enemy. But also suck in the balls. As you do. And that means the attack does a lot less damage, too. That was a pretty good hit. That was a pretty good hit. Girl can just do a straight up attack. That'll make some balls appear. Zill can suck him up. And then break the lock. And then Valir can just finish the job. Actually, we're gonna do a, we'll do a we'll do a bash drop. Why not? Ooh, actually, let's do a mending light and just get everybody healed up. Yeah, that's the move. I just wanted to show that off. It's a really sick heal. And you're dead. Realistically, the best move there would have been to uh, refill everybody's MP. We've got a campfire, so, you know, nobody really cares. Nobody really cares. the campfire here in the middle like it must mean there's a boss fight coming up you must listen to your gamer sense that's two There's a the, the previous captain of the Vespertine. Named the Stormcaller lives in there. So uh Yeah, we're gonna go take out the Stormcaller. On to the next island! You salty dogs. Are you salty today, chat? You salty? You feeling salty? feeling spicy okay so we can bust out our map yep we're gonna go to the right hard to port right i know ship directions i grew up in a landlocked state i still know it 
What do we have here? We could probably use the... Yep, 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 we know that. More doubloons? Is it a doubloon situation? Okay. So as long as we hit all our attacks, we got this. Actually, I'm going to move over and use Garl, because Garl's attack is super high. He's kind of a badass. Now, Zeo sucks in the balls. Get locked. All right, now I'm going to swap. We bring in Sarai. Sarai's got a skill called Disorient. It actually delays an enemy's attack. Look at that. All right, then we're going to use Zale again. We only have one turn until that uh, enemy attacks, so we're just going to knock out as many of these as we can. They're probably going to die anyway. Boom. Dead. Dead. And dead. Flawless victory. It's the best fucking kind of victory. Oh, here we go. Uh, for some reason, I'm blind to these, by the way. So if you see one and I walk by it, a little lever, you, you just let me know. I have very selective vision. Again? Locked. You get bonus MP when you block successfully, too. Done. What up? What up with you, Nate the dog? How are you doing? Hopefully you haven't been chilling there too long with me just uh, not paying any attention. You know, we better use a skill. We better use, we better use a skill. Yeah, let's get this going. It's smacked. Okay, we got nine HP, 49. Little cooker surprise will do us real good. Got to focus up on the one with the most HP. Resistant? Resistant? Okay. Get wrecked. Chilling between my busy moments. Nice. Dude, has work been a lot more busy for you lately then? Because I know at first it was like... You are saying it was dead. It was dead and boring. Oh, we gotta go back up here. This island is a lot less fetch questy. A lot less fetch questy. May as well restore some HP. Oh, that's right, the homeless population comes out to play. Yep, I'm familiar. You know, it's just been a while. <laughs> it's just been a while. They do. They do come out to play. They come out to do a bunch of... I don't know, man. I know, like... Not everybody's out doing drugs. But a lot of them are. And then we're kind of cleaning up after him and kicking him out. Good times. Okay, we're going to Crescent Arc. All of y'all. Get arced. Boy, I messed that timing up so bad. Bubble drop. Not even... An hour into the shift, I had a guy prowl a staff member's car and then tried unauthorized access to the building through a service entrance. 
Wow. That is lame. All right, we got enough for Cooker Surprise? We sure do. Also, thank you for the biddies, by the way. Ooh, that felt good. I forgot that, that attack that this pirate does is really fast. Rick. Bro, we've missed you on Helldivers. Yeah, man. Yeah. My, uh, yesterday, like, I got my taxes done for the year, and I dissolved my, uh, my old business, so took care of a lot of stuff. And dissolving the old business was, like, not just doing the, uh, LLC dissolution form, but also going to, like, all the websites that I used to be listed on for my notary business, like, all the things, dude. All the things. Are you going to take a break for a bit? Right on. You're going to focus more on uh, Belusia or play something else? Not by choice. Is it connection issues? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I... I had a stream on while I was working yesterday and they got kicked a couple of times and they were, you know, pissed <laughs> as you do. So that sucks. What happens if you just drive right into it? Just an invisible barrier. No big deal. Do the last rod. Okay, so one was doubloons. One was just kind of platforming. This one is dot, dot, dot. A lot higher up. That's for sure. Nate says silencers game crashed twice and I had a fatal crash that required a system restart. Yeah, that sucks. I'm sure they'll get this stuff figured out like they did for a while, but then it seems like the, some of the updates that they do just bring back the old problems that the game was having in the first place. Hmm. I mean, I could break one of these guys, so I guess we'll do that. Oh, that's right. I forgot these ones are resistant to blunt damage, which totally sucks. Got a combo now. One block. Let's uh let's do a hurl of this homie. Get closer, dude. Alright. Alright. Little excessive, y'all. Little excessive. Let's moonerang and see if we can just like bend the herd a little bit. If we're looking into other games right now. Lightyear, Frontier, Void Crew, All Orcs Must Die 3. I remember seeing that. Fluja and Ready or Not. But on the plus side, melee for the exosuit is fixed and there are flying kamikaze bugs now. Awesome.
I haven't uh, seen Lightyear Frontier. And I'm thinking of Void Train. I don't know Void Groove. Also, thank you for the five biddies. Honestly, I'd rather they do that than their regular attack, because their regular attack is... Uh, it hits really hard, and the Void Bubble does not. Yeah, let's focus on this dude. upward. Ooh, that was slick. Yeah, I love having the grapple so much. Right, here we go. Let your frontier drop this month on the 19th. I think Stardew meets Titanfall meets Farm Sim? That's quite the mashup. That's quite the mashup. Crew is a one to four co op game where each run a department slash ship system as we explore, fight, and scavenge in space. Okay, nice. Yeah, I love games like that. Like uh, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time is another example of a game that operates like that. I think Borrow Trauma, similar. Worst pre made ever did a vid on Void Crew. Right on. I don't think I've ever heard of a worst pre made ever. I'm guessing it's a YouTube channel. Boom. One down. I like this one. This one's like a, just a tower climb. Crawler's coming. Yeah? Would I love him? YouTube, I presume. Oh, why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Of course it's YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, you should. Please. If you're watching on Twitch, <laughs> give us a follow. Because that helps the channel. And my self-esteem. Ooh. Man, I really forget about their double attack. Like, it happens really fast. That's the fastest double attack from an enemy I've ever encountered. Ever before. Uh, get disoriented. Bitch. him to uh via which of the many channels that we communicate on never mind i see i see i see it i just want to jump down 
Oh, there we go. Hey, hey, let me jump. Let me jump. All right, this time we save it. How are we doing on level? Ooh. These enemies are worth quite a bit of XP. Might be worth a little farm. Yeah, I've had those many times. They're good. But I was never like, ooh, give me some of that, you know? Ooh, give me some of that. All right, let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Maelstrom Point. Interesting music change. It was all like epic boss fight before coming to the epic boss arena. Maybe we get here and like it turns out that the whole rivalry between the navigator and the captain was just a misunderstanding the whole time and really that we're going to be bros. Okay, save point tells me probably not. You never know. Oh, nope. He's got evil written all over him. The tide brings trespassers to my realm. We have come to free the Vesper team from your curse. Oh, is this how landlubbers refer to my ship now? Who cares? We are ending this now. Now. Hmm. And so it is that my reign is challenged once more. I am Stormcaller. The Sea of Nightmare corrupts all, and in time consumes all. And if you would try your luck to make sure your aim is true. For now, the storm calls for you. Pirate poet? Poet pirate? I always get them at the dollar store in the individual boxes. Oh, word, word, word. All right, let's see what's up with this guy. Let's do a little lunar shield, because, you know, it's what we do during boss fights. Look at his, like, come hither glowing ghost hand. Not weak against uh, sun balls. How about physical? Nope, not weak against that either. We just want to get a little extra sword attack in. Should have done that in the opposite order. If I would have attacked with Sarai first, or with uh, Zale first, Chain Lightning. Oh, shit. Um, then I would have had some Ghost Balls to suck in with Sarai, and we could have taken out this poison as well. Okay. Let's swap back in. Okay. Yep, we're going to Solstice Strike. We haven't tested Vulnerability to Moon yet. Nope. Fuck him up! Might even do a little bonus stream tonight. We'll see. Now, nah, I think those things, like, shouldn't take too terribly long. I hope. I should really put some more time into the thumbnails. I've kind of found, like, a template that's worked for the last couple but I should make sure that they're really going to work. How the hell am I going to get this? This doesn't seem realistic. Okay, I guess we could do a Moonerang. Yep. 
Yeah, with this dude's combination of locks, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. All of them. I guess we could disorient. Yeah, get kicked. Oh, we can do it. Hell yeah. Stream some Fallujah? Yeah. Compete with Rocco. It's not a competition. But yeah, I'll win. No, I'm kidding. Uh, let's... Yeah, may as well get a little bonus damage in. Why not? talking about. There we go. We took out a decent amount. Ruler of Tides. Peace out to you, too. You bitch. Uh. Nate, I missed last night's stream, like Rocco's stream. Uh, Y'all create more chaos with animal spawns? Yeah, of course. It wasn't that chaotic. I think I made a. Who's the chicken last night? Now, I summoned a cow during a dragon fight. It was just there. Yeah, that was a... That was a seahorse. That was a seahorse. That was not the move. this chain lightning we can take this Oof. to the chin yeah let's get some balls on the ground get disoriented seahorse for you, buddy. Okay, will this combo do... This does one blade, a poison, and a sun. Okay. Well, we're gonna just do a regular attack then. Hell yeah! Pixel Pick game that's a hella detailed model. Dude, pixels are like. Time to get swifty in here! No! Yeah! Whew, we did it! Tremors are too strong! We have to get out of here! To the ship! The Vespertine. The deed is done. What now? We brace! Who 
It's like a party popper going off. Uh, hell yeah. Guess who owns a ghost ship? Guess who owns a ghost ship? Guess who owns a ghost ship? Me, bitch. Finally over, Hortense. <laughs> now that feels good. Hey, I know you haven't had a break in forever, but there's these people we still need to help. I reckon I owe you one. Friends of yours or friends of mine? Take me to them. Indeed. So the story behind this, a little backstory. We've got some uh, briskers we need to pick up. It's the briskers who don't want to be briskers anymore. The hardcore briskers, they be briskin. See? The lady with the hammer, she's briskin. The saw, briskin. Hammer, briskin. Several people, though, here, they ain't briskin no more. Stella did not get her brisk back. Or <laughs> it's... <laughs> if it isn't my favorite ghost lady, Hortitz. But I must admit, the sea monster kind of creeped me out. Was it called Hydralian? No idea, but it was massive. Oh, I hope Hortense will let me ask her some questions. I have so many. That there be a quest worthy of my support. So we have a deal? Aye, ship's yours, and I'll be your navigator. I've only sailed it once, but I'll be damned if I can't pull it off again. How much do you know? Enough to see through your disguises. You're one of them, eh? My money's that Sarai is the middle sister from the story. I think that's why she had a backstory with Romaya. Badass Labor Gamer, what up? Oh, hell yeah. Get them cinnamon rolls going. A little jealous. A little jealous. Not so much about the cooking and the baking, but the eating part. Yeah, I like that part. No worries. I ain't telling. So these two solstice warriors be coming along to help? I was hoping that in the end they would, if I helped them first. Well then, I reckon we have a shot. Potence, I... Don't mention it. I owe you a debt for pulling me out of actual hell, remember? I... Thank you. Yeah, she's one of the... She's the middle sister, for sure. I already forgot the name. All right, later... Boy, Navigator. Dude, I can't do three different pirate accents, you fucking guys. I can't keep this shit up. It's impossible. It's impossible for me. Hortense be the name. Please use it. Ah, uh, it's just stories say you were quite the mandolin player back in the day. That's Octave Mandolin, son. She won a duel against the legendary Shredrick. Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? Fucking kids. I have certainly dabbled. Uh, okay. So, Hortense fucking shreds. Whoa! My, I reckon you should join this little bardcore band of ours. <laughs> bardcore. 
Dang ding dong ditch. I'm telling you, dude. This neighborhood. Ha, I don't see why not. Za! This eternity thing just got a whole lot better. Welcome to the crew, Hortense. We all have similarly... Similar accents, just different octaves of the voice. Some more reachable than others. Uh, the best routine is ours. Just talk to Hortense when you are ready to transport the settlers. After all this time, the Vespertine is ours. Ha <laughs> ha! Building a new town from the ground up, huh? This should be fun. Ooh, colorful. I'm hesitating on what I should take with me to this new place. We're ready to leave when you are. I shouldn't have judged the pirate crew so fast. They're really kind-hearted. feel for these people it's too dangerous to go beyond this point the renovations are underway I learned the other day in Scotland Ding Don Ditch is called Chicky Melly and Knock Knock Ginger in the UK Knock Knock Ginger as in they're playing tricks on the ginger or it's a ginger who does the knocking I am the ginger who knocks The Vespertine, I can't believe it. It's been good to see everyone work together. Brisk's reconstruction is underway. We will make something good from all this. Yeah, you have some signs. Good for you. Do you need anything? I've got a few items. Uh, no. I'm so beyond your items that you sell. Not against selling, though. Mom! Mom! Are we really going to sail in that super cool boat? This will be a big change for my son. I hope he'll be alright. Yeah, I hope he's a little less whiny and fucking cryy. You should take care of that shit. If we have to be on a ship with that kid for an entire... However long it's going to take. And he's crying and going wah, wah, wah the whole time. Like, child overboard. That's all I'm saying. Some people would rather start anew somewhere else. Thank you for taking care of us. Dude, I want to talk to the fucking hardcore people who are working. Alas... Thanks again for your help. Y'all ready to take the settlers to their new land? My magic map should work in this realm too. To the northeast then. Those who want to leave for new land, all aboard. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki nine doors. Okay. So, out of all three, four, I guess, counting the U.S. options, the U.S. is the only one that makes sense. I said it. I said it. The island is to the northeast of Brisk. Don't forget to use the map if you need. Well, this is it, huh? Settler's Island. It's snowy here. I think Christopher Columbo docked when he was exploring. He just ran that shit into the beach. It did sound like he was kind of dumb. Honestly. It did sound like that. Alright everyone, there's plenty of wood here to start building. Hovels. That was inspiring as fuck, girl. That's what I want to do. I want to I want to build a hovel. Those who can use an axe should get to it right now. I can do that. 
I'll get a stew going to keep us all fed. Whenever someone's in needs of a task, just come see me. I'll go fishing! <laughs> Fuck this, guys. I'm gonna go do something fun. I'm gonna go fish. Uh... Wow, our characters are not used to manual labor. One is trying to kick down a tree, one's trying to knock it down with a staff, and the other is trying to cut it down with a sword. You need a little help? All that teamwork, it's beautiful. later. Wow, multiple log cabins in a few days. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe you, you're supposed to just try to kick down trees and cut them down with daggers. That's the way to do it. Valir, Zale, a moment of your time, please. Of course, what is it? We went woodcutting deeper into the island and found a strange entrance. Wait, was anyone hurt? No, we left right away because it felt kind of eerie. We thought the island was completely deserted. We will go right now. Thank you. Could you please get Gar let Garl know? We'll be back as soon as possible. Will do. Okay. I guess we're forced to go explore this instead of talking to villagers, which is kind of my MO. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the fishing spot. We're going to hit that up. Ancient Crypt. Ooh. Feels pretty cryptic. If there are puzzles in here, I bet they're encrypted. If there was a gang that took over the place, I'm sure it'd be the crypts. There was a booby trap. I think we'd call it a crypt wire. This place seems huge, but I don't sense any evil anywhere. It looks so ancient. No! My, oh my, visitors! Huh? Oh, just right here. To your right. Welcome to the crypt. Are you a talking lantern? I am the crypt walker. Though I must admit, seeing as my fire went out, it is a bit challenging to greet visitors. You, the sun one, mind giving me a little spark? Uh, sure. Whoa! That was unexpected. Much better! Please follow me, it's right this way. I mean, no, conch, guys. How are we going to build a cult if we don't get more conscious? Now, who have you come to see to commemorate today? Oh, we aren't here for that. Oh, we brought a group of settlers to this island without knowing it was occupied. Well, technically, it is not. You say people have come to live near the crypt then? Yes, that's okay with you. 
Why are we asking this guy's permission? We really need to make sure they are safe. Oh, absolutely. Visitors, neighbors, the more the merrier. All I want is for the crypt's mementos to be witnessed. This place contains thousands of stones, statues, and monuments dedicated to the memory of the early builders and visionaries of this little world of ours. And I do mean thousands. Feel free to appreciate the place and its monuments at your convenience. If there is a specific piece you were looking for and have its coordinates, I'll be happy to show it to you. Otherwise, rest assured that this crypt is entirely neutral and optional, so if you'd rather move on with your adventures, you can do so right away. Don't be a stranger now. Uh, interesting. What? Gabrielle Bo, je vous aime, aime. Rest in peace, Lesson Fox. Precious are the memories of Locke and Spencer. 228616 for my beloved Queen Amy Wen. May we forever remember Jay Collin. May we forever remember Stephen. I think I'm getting what this is. Dude, this is sad. Aw. Dude, people can actually, like, leave remembrances for their actual loved ones here. Well, shit. For the love of my life, savory nugget. Never forget Pain Chaos Space Marine. Okay. Wow. I mean, this is... Dude, this is sad. I mean, really cool, too, at the same time. moves rhythmically. Oh, they got a splash of color for this one. To my mom. Such a baby. Getting teary-eyed over... All of this... cool just checking so like they have like a website where you go to submit this stuff or what what's this For the cult. Well. 
That was something. Go wreck some fish. You, little one. Whoa! Whoa! Come on, come on. Gotta wait for the jump, wait for the jump, wait for the jump, knock it out. We're gonna knock it out. Get KO'd, fish. You're gonna get sky punched. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, fish. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. I think some of these you just have to knock out. Whoa. Whoa. Stop it! Woo! You got a crimson bass. We will catch all the fish in this game. All of them. Mark my words. All of them. Do we get to name our town? You're right on time for the next town gathering. What did you find? It's just a very old crypt. The spirit who lives there is friendly and says we are welcome to build here. Great. I mean, I would have said, fuck them. We already built this whole thing. All right, gather around, everyone. Garl, the mayor. First off, Valir and Zale investigated the entrance in the woods and were able to confirm that it is completely safe. Yay! What a relief. And now, time to name this town. Big thanks to all who dropped ideas in the bag. I guess I'll just... And the name is... <laughs> Garl? Hold on here. Garl. Garl! That's no name for a village. Look alive, son. Seems to me these people want you to name the place. Me? You've been quite the leader, pal. The honor should be yours. Garl! Garl! Okay, I'll try. Like, no, stupid. We want to name it actually Garl. Like, hello? Nah, two on the nose. Sorry, I got, got a little X happy right there. Uh, new beginning, positive outlook. Mirth. Town of Mirth. Mirth. I liked Garl better. You should name it Garl. A fitting name indeed. Haha, <laughs> leave it to Garl. Seriously, how does he do it? Alright, let's get back to work. We still have lots to do. A few more days later. Fucking patio seating and shit? Dude, apparently Garl is an urban planner. Who knew? That was a lot. Looks like they can take it from here. Way to step up, girl. Fun little change of pace, too. I was gonna say something different. <laughs> Young Masters? An old man is here to see you. Huh? Must be the Headmaster. Oh, I don't know about that. Where is he? He just arrived at... Oh, there he is. 
Yeah, headmaster. Hello. Why why the doubt, villager? That young man didn't believe that I was the headmaster. He's an idiot. I see you have done well. Headmaster, where have you been? At the academy, doing research and racking my brain. And? I'm afraid I bring bad news. We simply do not have the numbers to fight the Dweller of Strife. But there has to be a way. I'm sorry, Valir. If the miracle we need exists, it is not documented within our walls. Then we hunt it down and give it all we've got. I won't be joining you. But you're the headmaster. Surely you don't mean that. You do not understand. The Dweller of Strife has immeasurable power. Without an eclipse, it stands impervious to even our magic, and there won't be one before it is done gathering its power. The Dweller of Strife took almost everything away, even back when our order was in its prime. I won't let it take any more from me. Headmaster. I resign. He just said he resigned. Take Headmaster off of his nameplate. Until the Dweller strikes, I want to live free of the burden I have carried my entire life. Please, allow me this. I have endured more than can be expressed. As you wish, Headmaster. I can't force you. Thank you. I have much grieving to do. Getting on to Mason Island will be a challenge without the help of its guardian. We're lucky to still have Extolin. Yes. Didn't the Elder Mist give you the name of the giant that takes you home? <gasps> yeah, Carl. That was you, man. But I digress. Mesa Island's giant has been put to sleep by the Fleshmancer Acolytes. Only it could remove the magic barrier concealing the island, but it refuses to wake. For all my research, it seems that it is not a curse we can break. Zale and I are not giving up. My dear Valir, I had a hunch you would say that. So you are adamant on trying to reach the Fleshman Fleshmancer's old castle and taking a shot at that thing? Absolutely. Then you will need to remove that barrier. While I do not know how this may be achieved, there might be someone who does. Squidmaster 2, what up? And also, how fucking dare you? 10 push-ups. Nay! Fifteen. So, you, do you have a lead for us? So, we got the pirate ship. Alright, we got the pirate ship. I don't even know if you saw what happened last time. I think, did you, did you, did you see the Dweller of Woe fight? I wasn't sure, maybe you left before that. Anyway, it was a fight. And there was a betrayal. Yeah, you saw the betrayal, I remember that. Because you played the betrayal clip. I saw that in the, uh, the replay when I was editing the YouTube video. Uh, okay. So, after that... Brisk got taken out. We went there, kind of cleaned up as best we could, got us a pirate ship, picked up settlers who didn't want to stay. These are the uh, the non-briskers. And then we have taken those settlers to uh, this new island and this town that we built named Mirth. They tried to name it... Uh, Garl, but Garl misunderstood 
what was happening. And he decided that the villagers wanted him to name the town when really they just wanted to name the town Garl. Should have named it Garl. It is my nerves that have given up, not my faith in you. Here is your final gift for me, the Coral Hammer. Da, 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 da. Make for Watcher Island, where the lost city of the Takari lies deep under the waves of Blue Lake. Ring the bell with the Coral Hammer, and they will know you were sent by a friend. Seek an audience at their temple. If anyone can offer you guidance now, it is the Oracle of the Tides. Oh, and you may want to visit Evermist Island again. You are ready for its shrine now. Here's the key. Thank you, Headmaster. This is more than enough to go on. There it is. Please, just call me Moraine from now on. So, where will you go now? Anywhere that isn't Zenith Academy. Hey, why don't you stay here in Mirth? Hmm? Everyone here is also looking for a fresh start. Carl's right. Plus, it's missing an official town elder. Haha, <laughs> that does sound like a job I could do. Get it, because he's old? Everyone would be more than happy to get settled. Yes, this place carries the kind of peace I need. Thank you, brave Garl, for making me smile at such a time. Sure thing, town elder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the order's down to the two of us now. Time to find our own way. Where do you want to go next? Now that we know the name of the giant, it sounds like you could learn new powers if we visited the shrine on Evermist Island. Uh, yeah, new powers? Fuck yeah. Or we could save that for later and go looking for the Oracle of Tides now. Watch Island is the one with a big meditating statue. We're with you either way. Well, well. I think we cruise around our new town. Oh, Valir and Zale, perhaps you could help me? I feel like Mirth could benefit from more amenities, but I find myself at an impasse. You see, building small houses is easy enough, but for more complex structures, we need some plants. If you find any, would you mind bringing them to me? Mirth would only be better for it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is Bob. <laughs> Dude, they have so many subtle things. This is Bob the Builder? This is Bob the Builder. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, no, Bob. We don't have any building plans for you yet, I don't think. Let's just double check. Nope. Oh, Bob. Moraine? Moraine? What's your favorite color? Do you like animals? Do you have a lot of friends? What's your favorite food? Moraine! Did you know? Moraine is an old solstice warrior, and he was also a master of something. Ha, ah, ah, ha, ah. ha. They remind me of you two when you were young. Eh, yeah, good for you, man. Now that everyone has shelter, we can now focus on the next steps for Mirth. I should go check out the crypt north of town. Some people went and said it was really impressive. It was. It was also kind of sad. Slap that. Smack that. Don't know the tune of that song. Feels good to be worrying about mundane tasks already. Tides, that sounds like fun. Ha, I knew you would like the tides. I knew you would. I knew it. I got your number, Squidmaster, too. If it involves the ocean and tides, it's kind of your thing. It makes sense, being the master of squid and all. After losing almost everything in Brisk, it's great to be starting anew. We even have a town elder? Earth feels so real already. It is real. I'm impressed with how everyone has worked so hard. I suppose that's purpose for you. Dude, this house already has a bunch of skulls on it. Like, hell yeah. You're doing great. 
Is this Bill the Builder? Hey, we have a town elder now. I think I'll build this house right here. Will you come back later to see it? Sure will. Homie. There's still a lot of work left to be done, but we have a good thing going on here. I'm so glad I moved here. As soon as I smelled the piney air, I knew it was the right decision. And now for a well-deserved break. So many skulls. I love it. All right. Ready to set sail. Yolanda says the crew be done fixing what need fixing. Reckon you might be in for some extra firepower should the need arise. Sarai learns ultimate attack Vespertine Cannons. Wow. Build the ultimate attack gauge by spending combo points in battle. That's sick. Uh, yeah. So now we have two gauges to build up? Dude, this game is awesome. Ah, oh, the great archives. <clears throat> Thus the town of Mirth... <laughs> I don't remember how I did this guy's voice. Thus the town of Mirth was founded, while those who preferred to stay in Brisk worked on restoring it to its former beauty. While down but certainly not out, Valer, Zale, Garl, and Sarai set sail for Watcher Island in hopes of finding the Oracle of Tides. Should their will prove strong enough, the chapters yet to be written would soon unfold. Dot, dot, dot. Hell yeah, time to set sail. The The sailing in the game is actually fun. So you just press the button, the go forward button, and then you can spin left and right. You got like a little bit of a drift thing going on too. Uh Oh, this must be Mesa Island. Sick. So we set up... Yeah, Mesa Hike. Nice, we set up our new village just across the way from, you know, the big nasty place. Downside about the ship is we can only go to places where they have a dock. What is this place? Skyward Shrine Bridge. Do they have different music for, like, every single place? Well, that was nothing. Is that the big meditating statue? All right, I think that's where we're supposed to go. The jungle path. They do have different music for every single location. Watcher Island. The hidden city of the Dakari should be somewhere beyond this jungle. We've got the coral hammer. Let's do this. All right, let's talk to everyone. See, see what's going on. Let's go already. No, we're going to camp. 
We're going to camp. I'm not hurrying up. Nice island. That's where the Dweller and the Acolytes are. Now I want to talk to Zale. Now I want to talk to Zale. Zale, stop standing so close. Let's to go already! Gal really turned things around for Moraine. It sounds to me like you guys want a story time, right? That's what we're doing? Story time? I still can't believe we have our own ship now. This is awesome. We made it. Now let's see what this coral hammer does. All right. Okay. Do a little savey save. A chapter called Coral Hammer. Time check. Oh. Well, okay, that was sneaky of you guys. Just saying. Get broken. Well, that was only 66 XP, so those are like... The very first crabs that we fought back in the day. Back in the day. Uh, maters, don't mind if I do. That one's new. A Garnu Garnui. Garnoi! I don't know how to say that word. So I haven't figured out the timing for that attack, apparently. Oh, the cave that we could have gone in? Yeah, I've got to explore the outside there. You got to clear the room before you go to the next room. Okay. Ooh. Took that one to the chin. Slurp kiss. Oh, so he eats you? Awesome. Oh, on the combo meter, you can see like a little purple thing growing. Why is my neck fucking green? That's weird. Too pasty, guys. I need to get more sunlight. I'm reflecting the green from the from the background, and it's making my neck disappear. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> anyway, purple. You saw it. Da 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 da. Up. Anything down here? Can we swim somewhere? Not that way, we can't. Worth it. See, guys, if I had gone directly in the cave, I would never have gotten that delicious peach strudel. See, let's, let's even look what it does. Oh, there we go. Peach strudel, right at the top. Plus 12 MP. Ooh, that looks delicious. Hey, you're ugly. Get away from me. Kidding, I like you. All right, so we got a sculpion. And, uh, rah, rah. Yep. Rah, rah. 
There we go. Getting serious now. Uh, the devs love birds because they made a unique, like, sound for every bird in the game, but, like, not all the other creatures. Oof. Oof. Swap. Alright, we're gonna Venom Flurry. Let's go. two birds with one stone that is absolutely the same uh yeah, let's do a little something something let's have a hearty stew Ooh, hole in the ground that's promising oh well we stumbled into a cave we're gonna we're gonna stick with it found one sapphire ore Ooh, more berries Oops, all berries, one might say. Such a tiny amount of XP. Okay, so I guess we'll come back there. I just feel like there's a lot of secrets on this island. Have that feeling. Am I stuck? That was weird. Oh, oh, there's a current. Totally missed the current. What does this lever do? I see the lever this time, guys. I see it. Sick. Poor starfish. Sorry, guys. You like a fish out of water? Fart fist. Oh, so we're going to get like a sunbeam or something to reflect that we can shine in different directions. Okay. Let's find a sunbeam. Well, now I do want to go back and check out that cave because we've gone super far. throw up on us? Kind of messed up. Kind of messed up. Hmm. Feels good. There it is. Oh, hello. Where's my, uh, where's my control spot? Uh, 
on. Anything else to explore over here? Doesn't seem like it. All right. So let's try to hang right. There we go. Needed that wheat. Like Russell Crowe. Yeah. Behind the waterfall, of course. The mural depicts some kind of curse involving a flower. Got a stone tablet piece. Shiny stone above the huge face. What was there? Down below? Hey, we gotta check that out. Oh, sure enough. Okay, so we're gonna have to jump down from above. I'll have to go through that cave, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Probably. Yo, we need to take this river, like, all the way down. Whee! Don't mind if I do. Easy. Not weak against that. Disorient when they don't have any skills queued up does literally nothing. He's going to try to eat one of us. Not today. armor. with what we got. Hey, ooh. There's bound to be something up here, right? Look at this. Yep. Chest. Immediately found a chest. And that spot. Question pack number four. We've got to pay a visit down to the question master. The questioneer. Quiz, quiz master. That's it. It's quiz master. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, 
Okay, nothing up there. Nothing up there. Quizmaster, you gotta go. We'll catch you later. Thanks for dropping in. It's good seeing you. Hmm. Seems like it might be a thing down here. Maybe not. Maybe not. That's okay. Where is it? Okay, so back upstairs is where we needed to go. We try we didn't try interacting with the face. Let's just try looking at the face. What's up? What's up, face? Nothing. 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 And we still have not explored the right hand side of this yet. I don't know if that's explorable territory to the far right, but looks like it could be. This is a big map. Heads up, if you're playing this game, don't grind here. This is not the place. There's like some decent XP monsters, but they're mixed in with like really terrible first area you ever fight monsters with very little XP. So precious little. This is a bad spot. Uh, hi. You. Now, now, let us talk. There's no need for you to see this errand. Ooh. What's the matter? Getting scared. My, aren't we feisty? We do not have to quarrel. Simply hand over the coral hammer, and we will be on our way. Come and get it, then. Three. Commence. Okay. I didn't save it, did I? Nope. Boss fight, Lunar Shield. Always. Okay, three. I'm scared of, so we're going to disorient. Hmm. Let's do ourselves a favor and just get a pre-swap going. A little hurl.
Well, at least we can do this. V attack. Shit. I didn't see that one coming. Disorient is such a good move. I guess we just focus on three since one has such good defense. They don't seem to be weak against anything. See, these are like main bosses, but they're not birds. They don't get a special sound effect. Quadruple blocked. Waste of a hurl at the beginning, by the way. They like moved my whole body trying to block right there. First time using the ultimate. Uh, <laughs> okay. are pretty weak. It seems this round is yours. Savor it. The next time we meet will be the last. Gonna dip. All right. See you, Nate the dog. And thank you for the biddies. Have a good day, man. Wait, 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 wait. We never got a chance to like set up the whole fucking sunbeam thing. I'm confused. I am confused. I'm very confused. Maybe we just like meditate in front of that Buddha statue. Maybe, maybe. This statue. Let's go. Yeah, what am I missing?
I don't know. Okay, maybe if we just face these two at each other. Face off the mirrors. Okay. But I can't change the time. I'm not standing on one of those dial things, which seems to be what this head thing is. But how do we get over there? Let's get there from somewhere lower down. But where? Yeah, feel feel free to to jump in if you know. We could also just run around aimlessly for a really long time. YouTube, I think I'm gonna edit this part out. Or we're just uh cruising. Can I just Maybe somewhere way further down? What's up with these bridges? This guy snuck up on me last time. Not today. That is why the XP grind is not good around here. It's not here. Dude, where are we supposed to go for that? Not a swimmer, is it? I wonder if we're supposed to go to the Solstice Warrior Shrine and unlock the new ability. Found a sapphire ore. Yep. I want to give it a try. Okay, which means we need to go. 
all the way back to Sleeper Island. So let's go straight west, see what's up. See if we've got any secret islands over here. Something. Still Pond Island. Oh, there's no sign for fishies. This is different than your normal fishing spot. Is it like an invisible fish? Not my favorite island. Till now. Cult of Conch. The 23 conches and going. Seriously, what is up with this music? So freaking ominous. All right, so we want to get back to Evermist. For that, we'll need to go northwest to the Sleeper Island and get ourselves thrown from Extol over to Yeet. What's up with this? Do you guys see this? That looks like a, one of the sun charge things. Oh, interesting. The brisk. We were gone for a little while. How's brisk doing? Uh... Can we not go to brisk? Risk is not... Okay, well. We'll mark this. So I can remember not to include it in the YouTube video because... Uh, just running around. Oh, dude. Fuck. Mm-hmm. There was. Chat, where were you? This is the kind of thing I need help with. This is it, right here. Oh, yep. Don't mind if I do. Oh, so we can not only farm for XP, we'd also farm for ingredients. Looking specifically at uh, milk, I think is the thing we're lowest on right now. Thick. What do you guys have to say to me these days? Same shit. I'd love to break down that wall. Back to the Moorlands. This is the life. Hey, 
Okay, so we're just we're running back to the top of this freaking mountain so that we can get to the top of oh we didn't realize we never we never figured this puzzle out. We could have had that this whole time. Solar rain. Okay. My bad. Learned a little lesson right there about learning how to use the game mechanics to your advantage. We're just trying to speed through, guys. Just trying to... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> speed on through. Hey, hey. Didn't have to be this way. That's how you do it. Okay. We still need to figure that out. them all. That's how you do it. Thanks, Beard on Fire, bot. You send people over to the YouTube channel and a little bit of the TikTok. Just a little bit. Just a, just a little bit of the TikTok. TikTok doesn't seem to be uh, remembering when I post. It's kind of annoying. I did one just at the beginning of the stream, so we'll see if it actually shows up. And in an hour and a half, we have a new YouTube video posting. I think it's episode four of this series yeah episode four is going to be on youtube coming up while we're streaming okay we hop down here what a walk Man, can you imagine, like, what good shape you'd be in if you just literally did this walk once a day? Get moon ranked. wonder how many uh, combo points the new Zale ability takes. I guess it's two. Oh, this is a good spot for milk. Well, okay. We'll have nothing for that. Okay. D. 
the cockroaches they are weak to the moon power I'm sorry to anyone who is French or French Canadian who is offended by my accent because it is bad it is very bad of this I am aware so brutally aware <laughs> Um, we got 52 Valir? We do. Mm -hmm. Get disoriented. Delicious. Let's get yeeted. Seems like it should go up. I have no recollection of this place. Did we already do that? Was there a secret there? If so, did we already do it? I don't know. Uh, hop down. We gotta hop down for the wheat. Hop down for the wheat. Stand still, awaiting a magic word. Yeet. we go back to the temple too not the temple but the academy just to like see what's up since we're technically like in charge of it now okay i don't fucking know what to do okay so we need to get the stone there i presume oh we've got Multiple stones to work with. Okay. What? Juked? Okay, so I can only hit it on its gem spot. And a 
little up around there, and then one of these, and then one of those. What? I see it now. Okay. We need to have it follow a specific path. Are you happy now? It is. It's happy now. Alir and Zale learned combo skills. Soon rang. That's cool. It's like four more to go. Wait, 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 wait. I saw crystals. Yep. Cool. And we have also hit all of the glowing crystals in both of the places. Cool. Okay, let's look at these uh, new abilities. Combos. We got Solstice Strike. We know about that. Soon Rang. Cost is two. Lunar and Solar Magic Projectile that can bounce to multiple targets. Oh! That's pretty sick. So we can apply a bunch of Sun and Moon. Okay, Bash Drop. We know all about that. Dude, look at all these. Alright, Soon Rang we know about. Solar Rain just does one sun damage okay okay it'll be mighty powerful sun damage right there mighty powerful thank you thank you okay so we're totally new no, not the mountain trail we want to go Yeah, wait a tick. Totally skipped the whole Elder Mist thing by hopping down the mountain. Forbidden Cavern, here we come. Skip to beginning. Oh, shrooms. Oh, shrooms, get it! Shit. It's probably the most important thing we could possibly get. Sounded like an exaggeration. It's not. Shrooms are hella, hella important. You can only get two of them at a pop, too. Need more shroomies. This is the hometown, Moon Cradle. Hey, 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 look at all these chests. What up, y'all? Please don't look at the mess. I'm looking. Oh, hello there. I'm a traveling fisherman currently looking to settle down. Now that I have seen it all, I would like to run a fishing house somewhere relaxing. The perfect place, you say? Well, I'll be. Onward to mirth, then. 
uh, our my stalkers will surely give you a ride. Grand's food is amazing. I bet you got Garl. Indeed. I'm feeling this, pal. Aye, this be the one thing I love more than Salem. Bardcore is the way to go. Music beats everything. Nothing beats music. Take care of yourselves and don't overdo it, hmm? It does not do to push oneself too much. I mean, kind of. Yeah, we're gonna play a champion game. Let's go. Wheels. Happening. Alright, you got a priest and a knight, huh? We're gonna do mage. And an archer. Ooh, look at that. We've got two plunger dips. See, nope. Let's see if we can get another here. Let's just go full on the attack. Yeah, I don't have any XP. It's fine. Shit. All right, tied it up, I suppose. Plus, they got XP. They kind of one up to me right there. I'm not stoked on that. Really? All right. They're getting lucky with the XP spins. Holy shit. I got a new wheel. Like, I, I never got the opportunity to choose to use it. Maybe a square. We'll get lucky. Nope. Really? I didn't touch a single XP that entire time, guys. helping. There it is. Come on. Okay. Already gold? Already? Dude, they're gonna start getting bombs at this rate. Yeah, and you heal. Uh-huh. Insane. God, I feel like I should go for something a little better here. All right, worked out. Seven attack is stupid. So we gotta get another wall, like required. Give me diamond. Ooh, yeah, I'll take it. Really? Like, no love for square. Why would I keep that? Oh my god. Ugh. Do 
there's the bomb. This is insane. Oh, there are the squares. Hello. How did they level up? We got no XP that round. I, I don't understand. They get an attack. I'm boned. I've got to get a defense. At least one. I knew it. Look at all that XP. They're just drowning in XP. Give me that double. Could have really gone for that juicy double. Can we shoot over the wall? No. I don't understand why sometimes they shoot over the wall and sometimes they don't. Give me something. I need a hammer. I'm going to die. You got XP for attacking. Okay. Mm, shit. Dude, if I can get diamonds. Oh no, if I can get even just. Gotta get diamonds. Don't fuck me. Oh my god. I think that's it. Okay, they got their XP though. They got their XP too. It's Ty. coming back we're coming back we're gonna do this again i'll try to do a better job explaining the game so right now in the middle those those dials that you see those are uh that's your crown level basically your health all right and then we choose two characters to fight with oh they've each got different plunger stack sizes okay so i'll go knight and i'll go wizard all right. I seem to have a diamond-heavy wheel. Anyway, so I've got my two characters chosen. You can see their attack and their uh, wall attack down at the bottom. Uh, what we do, it's slots. Any of these that you see with the little sparkle behind it, those are for XP. Uh, 
these little hammers, they build up your wall so you can protect your health. So they're giving me some pretty gimme those. We'll go ahead and spin again, see if we get anything good. Nah. Nah. All right, so I gained one XP. You can see the little light. They did too. I also got two uh, notches for my wall. The minimum you need to get for uh, taking your plunger down, which you see to the right of each and left of each of my characters. Um, I'm not gonna worry about getting a super high wall. Uh, the minimum you need is three. Kind of just want to roll the dice here. All right, that's an XP. That's an XP. All right, so just a couple XP. Not enough for an attack. That's too bad. If you have any wall during an attack from the knight, he's blocked. All right, so he leveled up his knight. My knight is about to go next turn. Shit. His knight went this turn. So I got kind of boned right there. My knight guaranteed gets to go. And I get to wall up. He got to wall up too, you son of a bitch. Cool thing about the knight is they get to go really frequently. As long as the game is giving you the things that you need. Come on, just something good. There we go. All right, so I get an attack in at the least. Boom, that's three damage. Good. Knight's leveled up. Now he does five. These first two dials have like a lot of double uh, diamonds and double squares in them. There we go. I really wanted more diamonds because the mage, not he has two attacks. So he'll shoot a fireball at the wall and then he'll shoot a second fireball that goes over the wall. Which is huge. How come this dude is getting so much XP? Fuck. I don't understand. Okay, we've got to get a wall up. I think I can get away with not having a wall up for one round. Yeah. Good enough. We'll get an attack. So this should be a really good attack. Boom. So that's three... And another three takes him down to four. See, so it takes the wizard a while to go, but once they hit, like, they hit. Yeah, their knight is about to go. We absolutely must get hammers. Okay, this isn't bad. The bad part is their knight just hit gold. And what that means is every time that they fill up that XP bar, which happens a lot for them, uh, then they throw a bomb at me, which takes down two health and bypasses the wall. Okay. Looking pretty good for squares here. Ooh, do I roll the dice? I roll the dice. There it is. Dude, you're lucky you got that wall up. Come on, two squares. Damn. Okay, I absolutely must get a wall up this turn. He's still going to do a little bit of damage, though. Mm. 
Yep. Yeah, they're gonna get a bomb. See? Take the wall now, just in case they go fucking ham. Would love to have diamonds. Give me a diamond, give me a diamond, give me a diamond. I mean, I'll take it. It's not nothing. Oh, if we get squares. Fuck you, game. Oh my god. Did I win? I win. Hell yeah. Woo! Alright. It's a fun minigame. It's a really fun minigame. Hey, you won. Congratulations. Here is your prize. Silver wheel. I haven't noticed if we get a chance to like choose which wheel we're using. That would be pretty sick. What the hell are you growing here? The crops would be good this year. Tentacle crops? Doing some hentai crops? Looks like there's something below there. I kind of want to check it out, but I'm too afraid to climb down. I have work to do in the field, but I can't because of all the thorns. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. around the rosy. Okay. Thorn's gone, homie. Get to work. No way. You cleared all the thorns? It's so nice of you to help like that. I haven't... I see you haven't forgotten your roots. Get it? Roots? Anyway, here's a little something for you. Let's see, we have another cultist in our ranks. I know what's up. We never gave back the treasure we found as kids. Good memories. Liar, there's nothing down here. Man! Thought maybe we had a windmill spin right there. Alright, so took care of the thorns, got ourselves a conch. Crops are doing great as always. The stories about the soil having some magic to it must be true. Indeed. Alright, cool. Did this, did this, did this. Uh, we talk to you. Moon Cradle is so peaceful. Not after we get done with it. Need to rest? Yeah, why not? Garo really turned things around for Moraine. No Teeks, I don't want to listen to his story. I still can't believe we have our own ship now. This is awesome.
Hanging out by yourself, I see. We made it. Now to see what that coral hammer does. Hint, hint. All right, got it. Let's see. One of those, with the meager supply of mushrooms that we found. we go. Now we're stocked up. Are right, we outie? Oh, okay. Just kidding. I guess we can all leave together. We're doing great on supplies. Ugh, I'm supposed to pile all the leaves under that pile of, of twigs. I'm supposed to pile all the leaves onto that pile of twigs for a fire later. Oh, okay. Hey, you did it. Thank you so much for your help. Here, you can have this. Rainbow conch! God, dude, the cult of conch is strong in this town. I love it. I'm all about it. Expecting a monster to pop up there. Not gonna lie. Magic tree. Found a celestial willow leaf. Ah, oh, Teeks might get a story from this. <laughs> Yep, peaceful. Still peaceful. Still can't believe you're Solstice Warriors already. It feels like you just arrived a couple of years ago. Nope, been over 10 years. You just have a faulty sense of time. I'm worried about you. Ah, oh, no! Posture, uh, posture. I found a music sheet. Hmm. Curious. I sewed the small field all on my own. I'm really proud of it. Is that a kid? Hey, yeah, good for you, kid. Found 25 gold pieces. I'm going to fill my coppers with these one by one. Going up. Hmm. About dang time we visited this place. Hey, it's good to see you two. Doing all right out there in the world? I wonder if we start... F oh, I bet we start sailing this whole fucking place around. I bet we get mobile. We're going to get mobile with this thing. Brain's office. It's locked. Uh, Brain, you stepped down from being Guildmaster and kept the key? That's fucked. Alina and Brugavis, they were always so nice to me. I don't know what to make of this. Squid Master 2. Yeah, we're actually back in the uh, the very first academy where we kind of like grew up. Just checking things out. We got the opportunity to go back, so I wanted to, uh, to check it out and see if there's any secrets. No secrets so far, but we found like a little piece of lore. New ability. Not like an overworld ability, but like a combat ability. So a new combat strike. What's it called? It is Soonrang. So we picked up Soonrang. Oh, we actually got two. Solved another puzzle that I'd skipped over before. So Soonrang is new and Solar Rain is new. 
Both cost two. They look pretty sick. What I'm hoping is that eventually we can start piloting this flying academy around the world map. Because right now, like, not every island has a dock. We can't go to all the islands. So there's got to be some other way for us to move around and, you know, flying academy, airship. Makes sense to me. Been feeling pretty empty here since you left. Sewing basics. Just like, fuck that. It's a giant ship, probably behind the locked door. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here's the thing. So Moraine, the headmaster, he stepped down. I think you were here for that. And... He kept the key? What a dick. Manitoul! It's going good. How are you doing? Welcome back. No, I didn't mean to do it twice. No, stay down. No. Back down we go. Man, we're playing some more of, uh, of this, Sea of Stars. We finally have overworld map mobility. It's been a while. We just, uh... Came back to the starting area just to check it out and see if there's any secrets, things to grab. There were a few things, but nothing like... Nothing's too major. So now we're going back to the ship so that we can return to the main mission. And well, yeah, Beard is great. I've actually sat down and thought about this. I was like, you know... With a name like mine, Beard on Fire. Like, you can be Beard, you can be Fire... You could also split it in the middle and be like, Don Fee. Or... Erdo. That'd be weird, right? Be weird. Boff? Boffles? Boffle? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm down. Basically, basically, I'm down. You call me by a name. That's, you know, not dickish. But you wouldn't do that. That's not your vibe. Hikers Rest. Mesa Island. Okay, Watcher Island. That's where we're going. Southeast. Check this out get to drift around in the boat that's new and i love it i guess it's not too new we've had it the entire episode so far but i love it beard it is baffled beard on fire loving everyone yeah yeah a lot of big hugs going around Okay, so half the reason that I went back to the beginning was one, because Moraine said, hey, you know, you can go back to the beginning of, uh, go back to the sun. God, words, brain, come on, brain, fire, fire. You can go back to the solstice shrine that we've had at the beginning of the game. I said, oh, cool. You can get an ability there. Very cool. So we did. I was hoping it would be an overland ability because there is a door that I want to freaking unlock up here that I have not found out how to unlock and it's driving me a little crazy. But I think we're just going to have to like remember that it's here and that's good enough. Yeah, I love that ability so much. Okay, so we're going to swap because this dude can do blunt. Way to go, Garl. So we broke that spell. Broke that lock. Dash Strike is just a good ability in general. 
Boom. Dude, they love birds in this game so much. Every bird gets its own unique voice. Suck in your balls. Get the attack. A bada bing, bada boom. Have you ran past a lever that you didn't notice? I don't think so. That's kind of my MO. You know this. So there is this. So I, yeah, okay. There's this thing. There's kind of like a hole in the ground. It didn't appear that I could actually do anything with it. It appears to be just nothing. And I don't see any other levers that I could hit, although... Okay, there is one lever over here. I hit it, but it only seemed to raise a drawbridge. If it actually raised something out of the ground right there and I didn't notice, like, that's fully on me. So this is the only lever I know about. If you see another lever that I don't notice, let me know. Please. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go back around and see if uh, see if something raised out of that hole when we hit that lever. Because if that happened, then we might be in business. No, uh, that's a big no from me. How deep into Sea of Stars are you? Uh. Probably like 12 to 15 hours. How long did Beat said it was a 28 hour game, but I mean, I spent a lot of time either grinding or running around lost trying to find like a switch to do a thing that I can't let go uh, because that's how my brain works. Oh, look. That's lit up now because it's night. Okay, does that mean anything? Okay, that, so, okay. The little, like, symbol on that statue's forehead, it wasn't there before. We were also here in the daytime. Nailed it. Let's go, Garl. I do kind of wish you got combo points a little easier in this game because I would love to do more of the combo abilities just because like we have a bunch that I haven't even seen yet. Okay. The blue leaves are new. Okay, so being here at nighttime is like, it's a thing. Hmm. <laughs> Can I climb this? What do you want me to do? But, okay, there's, like, little blue berries on the vines right below me right now. Those weren't here during the daytime. We have all these stinking blue plants around here, too. So... The freaking story here. cook let's just rest i bet it's daytime yep it's daytime now okay we'll just come back here at night
Manitol, have you played the game? If so, if you know how to do that puzzle. I know I said no spoilers, but I wouldn't consider giving me a little help as a spoiler. Just so you know. Just so you know. Lake Dakaria. Let us go then to the lake. Pretty. Under the waves of a blue lake dwells the lost city. I'm all for a swim, but this looks deep. <laughs> My help is useless, I'm afraid. It's all right. My gaming is useless right now, too. We're great for each other. <laughs> no way can we hold our breath uh, for that long. Well, if it comes down to it, there's something I've been meaning to... Hey, see that ball over there? Bell? Bell over there? Bell is different than ball. Looks similar to the hammer Moraine gave us. Right. Let's hit it and see what happens. And we swim. But you know what we do before we swim? Is we check out every other nook and cranny of this lake. Because we're on a journey of discovery. All right, there's a cave up here. Atlantis? Yeah, Atlantis, but a lake. It's so like Atlantic Ocean... Atlantis. So this would be Dokaris. Can the rogue breathe underwater? Yeah, right? They've been meaning to tell us. Like, how, why else would they be a, a ship captain? Oh, they could probably teleport there. Like, I've been, they say, I've been meaning to tell you, I can teleport literally wherever I want all the time. I've been doing it this entire time. I'm surprised you guys didn't ask about it. Honestly, the only turn based RPG game I've played would be Pokemon, if that counts. But I've heard great things about Sea of Stars, so color me intrigued. Frankly, dude, if you've played Pokemon back in the day and you enjoyed, like, that turn based combat style, it's. It's very similar, except imagine that every single battle with a different Pokemon, they had different abilities you could use that you as the player could improve through skill-based timing of some, in some way. So like what I mean is whenever you land an attack, you can time it so you do a little extra damage. Um, whenever you perform an ability, you can time it so you do the ability better. Whenever you defend against an attack, you can time it so the attack goes better. And there's a hell of a lot of strategy when it comes to like the order of attacks that you do too. It's a phenomenally well done game. Like, I think it, frankly, it pushes the envelope for RPG games so much that I don't foresee anybody making like a JRPG, not even pixel based. I'm just talking like RPG in general without using some of the mechanics that were developed by this game. Yeah, was that what the boomer thing, boomerang thing was? Yes, yes, the timing of it. Yeah, absolutely. So with the boomerang thing, you time like the deflections. So every time the boomerang comes back, you block it and then it goes out and does another attack. If you do it well, you can get a ton of attacks. If you don't do it well, you get a few. All right, Temple Servant. Welcome to Lake Dakaria, travelers. Hello, we're looking for the Oracle of Tides. Why, yes, your coming has been foreseen. Solstice warriors are always welcome here. Is this the temple then? Oh, no. The temple is in Dakari Village. It sits on the ocean floor, deep below this lake. But... Worry not, travelers. You soon become attuned to the deep. Come, the first step of the ritual is right here. Oh, this is exciting! Now, 
Please pick the seashell that is most beautiful to you. Do we get to keep one? Oops, sorry. Do you mind? This is so special. <laughs> of course, go for it. I think I'll do this one. Or maybe this one. Take your time. This one is the best. What do you think, Sarai? What? Uh, sure. Okay, this is the one. I was gonna pick that one, man. To complete the ritual, you must now go to the sacred grove and let the seashell drink from its altar. Only then will its magic resonate with you. What kind of magic? Why, the kind that will let you breathe underwater. Whoa! It is the only way for you to reach Dakari Village and meet with the Oracle. Will it work for all of us? Absolutely, provided you stay close to one another. It's probably best if you hold on to it then. Got Seashell. I will unlock the lake's north gate for you. Your destination is to the northwest. Underwater time, straight up. Okay, moving along. Make for the sacred grove and remember to steer clear of Torment Peak. All right. So guys, I mean, we're going straight to Torment Peak, right? Northwest. That is nothing, Rhett. Rhett? Yet? What is that? No idea. It looks like a giant prism. The Torment Peak. My ability's not working. What gives? All right, well, worth it for the shrooms, I guess. Oh, the the channeling crystal or whatever that was is broken. New fish. Viridian Lobster. We'll release it. Yeah, get KO'd, fish. Got a Sun Carp. We'll release that too. What do we need? We need that little guy over here. Not you. Oh well. I mean, we'll take what we get. I think we already got this one though. You got released. Little guy, little guy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get KO'd. So if you time it right when they jump out of the water, you hit the uh, reel button, then you'll knock them out and reel them in, baby. So what you're trying to do during that minigame is only reel in when the fish is within that like channel of blue. You would hit that blue, blue channel. All right, cool. So we've caught one of everything. All right, to the sacred grove. Nice. Okay, it said we just dip it in the water of the sacred grove. Like, easy as that. Easy peasy. There's a path to the left of the fishing area. Psh. Well. Well. 
hell. I bet this is a little reward for the cult of conch, perhaps? Maybe? Ah, bummer. Oh, hang on. Bare hand him. Catch it. Get it. I guess you can't spearfish. That's fine. I guess. Well, Squid Master, you led me astray. We'll forgive you this time. Barely. Hiya! Oh. No, no, no. Push it back. I don't want it. I wanted to jump down. Uh. Mm. 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 <gasps> The little birds or the big birds? What? Okay. So you can time the attack at the very top of the jump. I didn't even like that was not a perfect round like you could do better you hurt their children yeah I guess so I just kind of like cruised through and, and smacked it all right I don't know if you noticed those icons above the bird but that meant it was casting a spell it's in a lock state and you can break the lock by doing a certain combination of ability types that's what we did and we nailed it freaking nailed it all right let's do a cooker surprise on both these guys non-elemental attack Oh, that was very effective. Okay, can't jump down. Good to know. Good to know. And you can kind of get like a preemptive strike, which uh, releases those balls on the ground. They're little magic balls. And you can suck in the balls. For a little extra, extra attack. For a boost, it's called a boost. And it adds an elemental property to your attack, slash powers it up. The Leer there does uh, moon, Zale does sun, and uh, Garl there just does bonus standard physical attack damage. All right, cool. This is what I was trying to do on the other thing we were just at. Oh, okay. What does this one do? I guess we'll mess with this one first. Brody chap. Yeah, wow. You really do just kind of, just like you said, kind of smack their babies around and then you're in a fight. Alright, we're gonna hurl this dude over next to the other, so that way we can get some uh, bonus attack damage by getting both of them. Woof. Holy shit, that was an instant kill. Dead. Whoa, alright. That was 
brutal. I know how to solve the blue light right when you put on it. Run to the elevator. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a choice. Like, we could go either either direction. No, you're good. No, you're good. You're good. You're totally good. Don't feel stupid. I mean, feel however you want to feel. But I don't, I don't think that was stupid. Nor am I annoyed. When your characters go down, they just, they wake up after a while. However many stars are floating over their heads, that's how many turns it will take them to wake up. Okay, let's, uh, let's eat a little something something. Let's have some mushroom soup, heal up everyone. Cool. All right, doesn't look like there's any flow to the water. Cult of Conch stronger every day. All right. So I'm thinking we take that path to the right and we'll get to that enemy we saw over there eventually. All right, before we get too far along, let's go back down. This seems to be the main path. We'll jump down. Hit up the Squid Master puzzle. It's a race! It's a race! I'm winning! I'm winning! Oh, that's a new ability right there. Oh, that's that's a new combo attack. Heck yeah. Okay, so we're gonna swap. Oh, we can't quite do Disorient, which is both a hammer and a poison, so we'd be able to break it. It's alright. We'll just poison the hell out of him. Ooh, that was good damage. Okay, gotta block this. I haven't been hit by it yet, but I'm assuming he just eats you? I mean, that can't be good. Alright, Squid Master, gotta go for the day. I will... Hey man, it'll be up on the YouTubes. I've got all the uh, videos divided by chapter two, so you can always skip right to it. Catch you later, Squidmaster. All right, 396 XP. All right. And Valir and Sarai learned combo skill Moonshiv. Hell yeah. Dude, that makes so many combos that I've not used yet. That's a three. High damage versus one target. Does blade, poison, and moon. Damn, so I haven't done Moonshiv. I haven't done Soonrang. Or Solar Rain. Gotta build up that combo meter. We need some boss fights. Really, you can only get like the high combo moves on bosses. Like that's it. Oh, well, glad we went back for that, because that was pretty sick. Moving right along. I want to go the other way first. Treasure first, don't you know? Found a sapphire ore. Money, 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 money. All right, seashell. That's definitely the altar. So the seashell goes here and... and earthquake. 
Whoa. Nani? And Whirlpool. That did it. I can feel the magic. Got magic seashell. You can now explore underwater sections by entering Whirlpool. I don't think we've seen a Whirlpool at all yet. That's the first one. I'm not the most observant, so maybe that was a lie. I don't know. Either way, let's go. Sick. Fishy, 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 fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah, that's a way to get back up. Took us right back to the beginning. I guess we go back to the temple. Oh, that giant lake must have one in it. Okay. See, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm figuring it out. Let's go. Who's the lake? Well, now, there's a whirlpool. Let's talk to our homie in the temple first, though. Hey, guy. Thank you for honoring our tradition. You can now visit Dakari Village at your convenience. Whenever you are ready, the way is through the big whirlpool. Don't mind if I do. Fish comes out. Snatch. Welcome to, Gar to Dakari Village, adventurers. It has been so long since we had visitors. Nice to meet you. We're looking for the Oracle of Tides. Why, of course you are. The temple is just up north from here. That's where the Oracle resides. He's no doubt expecting you. Save it again. We have an inn. Okay. Does that mean we can play some more wheels? Hell yeah, it does. Greetings, travelers. You need a room for the night? No, we're good. I thought wheels would be hard to get a grasp of, but I just played a couple of games and it all made sense. Yeah, same. How did you guys get down here? That's what I want to know. They've been holding out on us. Hello there, adventurers. Congratulations on finding Myrna's Market of Marvels. Turn in your rainbow conches right here for unique rewards. Oh, are you running a shop? That's Market of Marvels. Grandpa left me a whole bunch of items and relics up for grabs to whoever grabs helps me grow my rainbow conch collection. Sounds fun. Where can we find them? Uh, Valir, I am offended. Fucking offended that Valir was just like, where do we find them? We're the cult of conch. Around. The rainbow conches are all the rage as of late, so the easy ones are mostly gone. Just need to keep your eyes peeled for secret areas. Some people might be swayed into giving theirs up, too. You seem to know a lot for your age. Business is a game of mutual benefit and leverage. I did my homework. I know you won't be able to resist schematics to build a tavern and a fishing house in that town you founded. What's that? You prefer epic loot like relics? You've come to the right place, Solstice Warriors. See? Mutual benefit. You work for me, and my rainbow conch collection will be unbeatable. Ha! Huh. You sure have the drive. Question is, do you have the rainbow conches? Huh. 
I didn't mean to just hit it. Cornucopia, shop plans, fishing hut plans. Oh, something shrewd, something healthy, something relaxing, something potent, something meta. Oh, dude, I want to get something meta. Dang. Haunch collection. This is our temple, where the Oracle of Tides communes with the waters of the world to keep us informed of important events. We knew you were coming, of course. Feel free to enter. Okay. I'm so welcome here, man. These people fucking love me. They knew about my town. They had cool things for me. Like, let's go. We got a shop. Rainbow conch. That little treasure chest up there. See that, see that little uh, symbol on the side? Conch, baby. Every Jakari house has an inner chamber. We come up to the part above the surface when we want to socialize. While inner chambers are a bit more private and customized to their owner's preferences, visitors are always free to come and go as they please. Don't be shy now. Welcome. We have a fast selection of equipment. Ooh, look at all these. Well, yeah, we should definitely get the pearlescent apron. We'll sell that. We should get another Dakari armor. Mm -hmm. We'll sell the bone. Ooh, man, that's a big jump. Okay. We're going to hold off. We're going to hold off on buying the items, like all of the equipment, because we're bound to find some just in our travels. Let's wait. Let's hold up. Ah ha 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 ha. Down we go. Ooh. We're going to the one in the back. It has rainbow conch written all over it. Our tribe comes from the deep blue, far below the ocean floor. As aquatic nomads, we followed the guidance of the Oracle of Tides for generations, establishing encampments ever closer to the surface. As you can see, we eventually made our destination. After Dakari Village was founded, we abandoned our nomadic way of life. Dude, thanks for the lore dump, dude. Old coral vase, I'm sure that Teeks has some stories about that. Rainbow conch! of conch. I think that's actually another reward for us right there, too. North of here is the dreadful mountain known as Torment Peak. Stories say that generations ago, Solstice Warriors sealed an evil within it. Which makes me wonder, how can something be so dreadful that even they would run from it? Well, now I'm scared. Is that it? Wanted to freak me out a little bit. Okay. Not mad about it. A little curious. And down we go. What's this? Let's head down here first. Anything to grab? Anything that we can get? What a weird spot for a lever. If we could already get down there. Hmm. You're solstice warriors, aren't you? Does the Elder Mist really exist? You bet. Whoa. That's fun. Found another rainbow conch. 
I'd love to take my son around the world, but we also want to run our own family store. We thought of moving to Brisk, but everything is way too established there. We'd never break through. Well, birth? That sure sounds interesting. We'll pack our things right away. Thanks. Make sure you drop by. That took zero convincing. Don't follow the advice of video games, folks. Don't be don't be that accepting. Mm -mm. Oh, I thought the water was going down. Yeah, anyway, that's weird. Weird, weird, weird. Oh, did I talk to you? Chilling by the couch? Good day, adventurers. Might you help an old man out? Maybe. What's the matter? It's my three grandkids. They wanted to play hide and seek and, well, I simply cannot find them. The habit of they have a habit of hiding in random inner chambers and being from an older generation i find myself quite unwilling to barge into other people's homes if you could find them for me i would be forever grateful okay well i think we passed by one already wish i would have talked to you before a oh, man 28 hey falcon-eyed parrot Where do we keep these things? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Party max HP plus 20. Yeah, dude. Dang, all right. Go down. Volstice warriors go down the hole. Us Takari have a particular relationship with water, which our sensitive skin feels is very enveloping. It keeps us calm and composed. If we spend too much time outside of a body of water, we are compelled by anxiety to find that comfort again. Each of us have their own threshold, some preferring to remain in their inner chambers at all times. You're welcome to visit them by using the water vortexes. Even though they are often forgotten, the more sensitive types have as much need for a connection as anyone. Found a sapphire ingot. Found you. Hey, who are you? We're here on behalf of your grandpa. Oh, so he sent you? Yes. About time. I was getting bored. Well, I win. Cool. Uh, just two kids then, I hope. Got to go back and get that other one. Nope. Okay, does the inn have one? Uh, excuse me, your inn does not appear to have a vortex. I came here to see the pirates. You sure you're not playing hide and seek, kid? Next kid. Where the hell did he go? Oh. He wasn't one of them. My bad. Dude, I don't remember seeing a kid in this other building here. Hey, hey you. Ah, uh, you won't catch me. I, I just did.
grapple that kid. Grapple that child. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice market. I just want to get in that vortex. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, what's up? You got a kid hiding in here? I thought so. Hello! Hey, your grandpa sent us to find you. He gives up. Oh, he's getting more and more tired every day. That's no fun. I guess I win! Did he specify how many grandkids there are? I hope it was two. We'll go the conch route. Climb, climb, climb out of the hole. Go away, you're ruining my hiding spot. Hey, your grandpa asked us to find you. Really? But I wanted to play with him. I think you got a little too good at hiding. He gives up. Ha, I'm the best. Well, I'm hoping that's all the kids. Except for maybe this one. Oh. That's one of the kids I found. You have my thanks. I do love my little fellas, but they can be quite a strain on these old knees. Here, for your troubles, I suggest you turn these into our local entrepreneur. She carries quite the inventory. Best of luck in your travels. Where's the next reward? 30? 30? 35. 35, 39, 47, and 60. So I think we found over half the conscious. You know, if you refuse to give over your uh, your conscious to the merchant, would that make you a conscientious objector? As foreseen, a new generation of solstice warriors has come to seek guidance. The tides never lie. I am the Oracle of Tides, one of the three seers. Welcome. Thank you for seeing us, Oracle. We are looking for a way to Mesa Island. Straight to the point, I see. The monster you are hunting has put to shame a sizable force of your order in the past, and now it seems only the two of you remain. Still, you would venture into the Fleshmancer's old castle? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, whatever it takes. Then I suppose we should make this a serious audience. Allow me a moment to commune with the waters and see what the flow of time is willing to reveal. We're in a hurry. The Dweller of Strife could wake at any moment. Can you get us onto Mesa Island or not? The one who does not belong here is eager to speak, I see. He knows! It is not the place of a seer to offer direct help, but rather to provide insight. May I assume it is understood that there will be no prophecy for you, foreign child? I... Yes, of course. Very well, then. Foreign child. What a weird thing to say. Like, where are you from, Sarai? I still think she's the middle sister. So we heard this, like, prophecy slash tale of triplets that were born on a solstice. And apparently if there's twins that are born on the solstice, one will be evil, one will be good. But these are triplets. One was good, died in the attack against the, uh, the strife dweller that we were talking about just a second ago. Uh, the other one, evil, 
very selfish. We actually had an encounter with her already. She was in the necromancer. She was the necromancer. And then we heard tale of like uh, basically like a neutral party who was like an oracle themselves. And I'm thinking that's Sarai. I think Sarai is the, uh, the middle one. Warrior Cook, step forward. Hey, that's exactly... Step forward. There is a great deed you might be capable of, but it will only be revealed to you once it is too late to act on it. Okay, sure. When that moment comes, demand a flask of borrowed time. Flask of borrowed time. Got it. Thanks. So peppy. Children of the solstice, step forward. Hold still. Let me touch your faces. Ooh, little hot. Ooh, little cold. What was that for? Nothing. I just wanted to. Very interesting. But the order of these events... Real shame. Uh, <clears throat> you have been up front with me, so I shall do the same. But first, some closure. Seeing now as I have seen you in my dreams, I know that the watch of the Decori Oracles is at an end. At long last, the ones we have been expecting for centuries have come. No pressure. This waterfall is the great way to our world's greatest mystery. One that is yours to unveil. Wong. All right. The Tower of Ant Sudlo, an enigmatic structure concealing a door that has remained firmly shut since time immemorial, waiting for two children of the solstice with a slim but very real chance of altering fate. Waiting for you. Right on! I always knew Valir and Zale were special. There is one other thing of which I am certain. Huh? Of all the possible outcomes, there is not a single one where you defeat the Dweller of Strife in battle. Fucking Tony... S not Tony Stark. Doctor Strange over here, not Tony Stark. But there must be a way. Didn't you just say we might be able to alter fate? I do not make the rules, my child. You have had plenty of time to stare at the night inside of you. Your potential is immense, but you will not be prepared in time for the big confrontation. Regardless of what happens in that tower, there is no possible outcome where you defeat the Dweller of Strife. But we have to fight. And fight you will, but victory will not be yours. That sucks. And you, Lunar Monk, with but a simple spark, you could have been the one to create paths on water and mend the connection at long last. Okay, so we heard about that from another dude before, from the uh, Elder Mist. And she, create, she would create paths on water. So close and yet so far. But alas, it appears the problem begets the solution. We're still going to try. Isn't there anything you can do to help? It is not within my power to help you make it onto Mesa Island. Is the solution in that tower you mentioned? Whatever fate has in store for you, all I know for certain is that your next step is beyond this waterfall. The mysterious Tower of Ant Sudalo awaits. 
survive its trials, and discover the secret that has been long waiting for you all along. Godspeed, Solstice Warriors. Schwamp. And Sudolo. Oh, dude, I love that steel drum. Hmm. Uh, cool, we got some, like, sharks floating around out there. that likely powers some underwater device oh i just happened to have passed right by an underwater device bubbles Woo! that was fun okay oh i can't I want to attack one of these guys. Okay. <laughs> Sharksenal. It's an arsenal of shark. This game is fantastic. 165 HP. Let's see how you do against moon power. that sound effect that was uh i really flubbed that attack flubbed that one too i'm just apparently like sharks no i better get to a save spot the lights in my house just flickered I've got to catch one of those. Okay, just keep attacking the same person. That's awesome. A little Venom Flurry yet again. It's like they turn into an axe, and it's like a one, two, three, pause, then go. Okay, sunball, underwater. Let's try it out. You finally popped up. That did nothing. You're underwater. You can't throw fireballs underwater, you idiot. Fish, what do you know? Uh, let's let's eat something good. We should have a roast sandwich. Pop a Chadre right there. Okay, okay. Chadre, okay. Okay, we can't use anything special, so we can't use Fart Fist, and we can't use our grappling hook, so... I think for the most part, we're just going to be kind of cruising through this whole underwater area. Hello! Hi! Hey! Hey! Pirate Shiv. That's okay. Get broke. Clone. Uh. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Bonus damage, that's okay. Uh, 
I've found no vulnerabilities to these guys yet. Not even a single one. Not even phase shift. Do a little healing light. For 60, not bad. Dude, I have not timed a, a defense in a while. Let's see. You're the last one to go. Cool. Get got. Okay, who's next? You're next for sure. See, if you... If you suck in the balls just before teaming up with your partner, then, uh, you know, you get a little bonus. Okay, we need to find another key, another mechanism. What's this? I don't want to hit that yet. Ah, fuck it. Schwong. Okay, so we need to find the uh, lunar bell. Like this one. Boom. There we go. Found a sapphire ore. What a delight. Oh. Hmm, cool. Wow, still has embers. What a good campfire. I actually want to set up camp. We'll do a little visitation with our buddies. ever been inside that tower, huh? That's kind of exciting. Mesa Island. That's where the dweller and his acolytes are. It felt like a big deal to be allowed through the waterfall in the Oracle's room. Whatever we find in that tower, I've got your back. I always knew you two were special, but a big mysterious tower built just for you is something else. Flask of borrowed time. I'll have to remember that. Sounded important. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. New story unlocked. The Nomads of the Seas. New story unlocked. The Vampire Rose. New story unlocked. Moon Cradle. We have three new stories. I'm gonna be honest, guys, I don't have the stories in me right now. So we're gonna skip the stories. Just cuz. I don't wanna get all stressed over doing the voices. Oop. We need to actually cook a meal. A few more roast sandwiches. These are pretty handy to have around. Like a roast sandwich, like you should just have a roast sandwich at all times. At all times. Mm -hmm. All right. We didn't save for a while. Get got Slurpy Slurpy McDuggins A Goo Goon A Gagoon Dude I'm all about it. Alright. Uh let's see what's up. 
We'll do a little Moonerang. Zero? Okay, well, we're going to disorient this homie. Only did five damage. Wow. Zero. Gagoons are pretty hilarious. Get got, Gagoon. Nope. All right, so they don't seem to be weak against anything. Yeah, we got to get this guy out of here. Get out of here. Not blades, not blunt, not poison. Not sun. You can have your Luke Skywalker moment. Garl. Triple ball strike. Wow. 1700 XP. That was nuts. Okay. Dude, I'll, I'll fight the cocoons all day. Okay, so... This color is a door that opens while it's dry, and this color is a door that opens while it's not dry. Okay. And we've got like two things together, one to the right and one to the left. Oh, we're okay. Never mind. I get it. I get it. I see the flip. Hmm. Something to grab down below. Up on down. Find another one of those guys or two or myself a few times no problem hmm, fishy yeah get got sorry at you we got five turns don't mind if I do. Sunball. Ninety damage. Dude, it sucks to be you, man. Mm-hmm. Ooh. 
Almost a thousand XP right there. Those guys are XP bags. How do I get back over there? Guess I gotta raise the water back up? My selective vision fucks with me yet again. Is this the tower? Are we in the tower? Or are we trying to get to the tower still? I guess we'll see. Okay, well, that's simple enough. What's up? fall damage. Get flurried. Like a Mick flurry. Sarai flurry. I like Mick flurry better, dude. I want to make flurry now. What have I done? Didn't do enough damage. Yeah, it's doing both. Combo strike coming up. Hmm. Feels good, baby. up dude this place is so good for xp holy shit okay so we've been going pretty hard into physical attack we get plus two mp at this level so that's pretty sick we could bump it up to plus three wouldn't mind a little bit more physical defense Physical attack. Hey, buddy. Hi. You want to jump up in my lap? Are you trying to get me to feed you? What time is it? 148. You got time. My dog is here. Hey, buddy. You want to jump in my lap? Oh, he usually just ignores me while I'm streaming. So this is a treat. All right, bud. You going to hang for a minute? Microphone exactly in the way. Also, yes. What is yes? Little guy? You're just so cute. Look at his little tongue sticking out. He's got a snaggle tooth too. I don't know if it's showing. Can you show him off your snaggle tooth, bud? Hmm? Maybe? It says no, just love on me. Yep. He's chilling. He's chilling. My wife works from home too, so he just gets ignored during the day a lot of the time. Huh? Huh, bud? Yeah, you do. Hello. Let's 
got little bat ears. His name's Paragon. Yeah, we should set up some kind of like channel point thing for you, huh? Like every time you jump in my lap, it's like a, it's like a celebration. I think I could do that. I think I could do that. I can figure that out. Look at your little ears. See these? I don't know if you can see it. He's got little notches that came out of his ears. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there against my sweatshirt. When we got him, like, these were, like, fresh. He got rescued from a kill shelter. See those? They don't hurt you anymore, do they? Nah. But yeah, he, uh, he got rescued from a kill shelter, and they had his ears tagged. And it looks like they just, instead of removing the tags like normal humans would, they just ripped them out. His ears were bleeding the day we got them. He made a trip from California up to Washington. And you, sir, are a summer weather dog. He hates winter time and rain. He hates it so much. It's all about the summer. All about the sunshine, huh? Little California dog. Alright, we'll keep playing. We'll keep playing if you're just chilling here, huh? Alright, we'll do some magic defense. It's our durable dude. Alright, yeah, let's uh, get more MP for you. Or more health. Ask for more help. There we go. Can you still hear me okay? Yeah, you must be able to hear me okay, because he said all the pets repair are gone. Yes, now I take that back. Okay. It all makes sense. Get out of here. So now we've got a green pearl and a blue pearl. Hit the wrong one again. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, can we go up? We cannot. So we need to get the other pearls. Let's go. What's oh, a little tube? Let us traverse the tube. This is what he does. He just like kind of sits down uncomfortably and then lays his head down on your arm or whatever, don't you? It says, be more comfortable. He has a bed. He has a legit full-on bed right here in arm's reach. And yet, he doesn't hang out with me all day, do you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good boy. Your breath kind of stinks. Let's brush your teeth today, dude. I'm now the bed. Yep. It is true. It's one of those things when he like decides to sit on your lap and you are the bed, you have to like go pee. Not happening. You are his now. Oh, we've got some more of those uh, glob things down there. Some google gobbles. Glob knobs. Release the tubes. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, those created paths. Okay. Okay. I got it. Next. Oh, hey, bud. Hey, bud. There, I'm just... Let me scoot back a little bit. Scoot back a little bit. There you go. I'll squeeze my legs together like a proper lady. A thoracic cloak. Oh, there you go, buddy. You just sleeping. 
He's so camouflaged right now, like somebody just popping into the stream would be like, why is this dude just showing the bottom part of his face? Weird. Classic cloak. Hell yeah! Look at that. Sarai. Okay, we can't jump on that. Attach the third pipe. It is attached. Would you like to touch the starfish? Oh. Yeah, I don't understand what I'm doing. Okay, so we've got three orange things. We've got some shellfish looking things below that. Oh, I'm seeing certain amounts of water pouring out too. The actual starfish. I'm supposed to plug it so there's minimal water. That's how they started. seeing anything that I'm not seeing right now? What is, go what is going on? Oh, wait. Shh. Ah! Nailed it. Yeah, get got, goon boy. We're actually gonna have Lunar Shield. We're gonna act like these guys are a boss because they hit really hard. A little bit of healing. Mushroom soup too. Yeah, see, it blocked. I blocked that and it was still 33 damage. An insane amount. Okay, so we just need to focus fire on one. I have not found a single thing these dudes are vulnerable to. We haven't tried a cooker surprise. Maybe Cooker Surprise? Surprise, it's dynamite! Actually, not that. Solid. They don't care about poison. Don't care at all. surprise for you as well. Okay, if I time this, I think I can actually get this guy. One hit. One hit, buddy. So close. Alright, Blunt seems to do the most damage. Okay, 
pet. Fifteen hundred. Ooh, we got some goo milk that apparently we are going to cook and eat. Hey. Mean man, it's just mean. Flirt kiss. They haven't got me with that yet. It's like the fourth one. Still good. Trying to restore MP at this point. His ass. Get deflected. Ooh, 101 damage. That was actually fantastic. Uh, yeah. That's right. Vulnerable to poison. Those guys are vulnerable to poison. Is there anything up here? No? Okay. Let's go get blue balls. Never thought I'd hear myself saying that. Let's go get blue balls. Paragon, you so sleepy. You don't have to get up. Just because I pet you doesn't mean you have to get up. You can just enjoy the pets, my friend. Interesting connector room. Oh. Fart fisting our way through the galaxy. Um, uh, uh, uh. Root. That's rude as hell. That's a common decency. Show me a chest, let me get it. And I don't want to work for it either. Aw. Yes. Yes. Let you rest. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. You can just rest. Just rest. I'll stop bugging you. And my posture? Well, is gonna be fucked anyway. So be good. What are you gonna set up? There we go. Ooh, a phosphorite lid. Extra damage. See, I think they sold that at the shop and I didn't buy it. Ha! Ha 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 ha! The win. Badass lady gamer, what up? Your chat wouldn't connect. 
I'm glad it did now. I killed the yeast in the cinnamon rolls and I have to redeem myself. Does that mean you're making more cinnamon rolls? Also, you can do that? You can kill the yeast and then the dough just doesn't rise? Am I thinking about that right? Still tastes good enough, Luffy. Okay. You just come up with a new name. Basically, all you gotta do, you just have to... You just have to think of it like a marketer, right? So me and Jasmine did this at one point. So my godparents have this killer pretzel recipe, like homemade pretzels, like Bavarian, you know, like big ass pretzels, big fluffy fucking buttery, salty pretzels. And they're delightful. But we also messed it up. I really don't understand how, but we did. We found a way. And they just came out as like sticks instead. So I just called them pretzel sticks. Easy as that. Um, oh, I already hit that. Why am I trying to hit that so much? We gotta go. We gotta go. We got our things. I think I made the milk too hot to kill it. Ah, oh, that sucks. That sucks. See, but now instead of cinnamon rolls, you have cinnamon knots. They're like the knots that you get from a fucking pizza place. Cinnamon knots. Bada bing, bada boom. Done. You don't say it's like it's like a cinnamon roll. You say no. It's more like uh, it's more like a knot that you get from a pizza restaurant. Um, just better. All right, cool. Hey, t tell Teddy I say hi. Have fun making more. Um, oh, I can't go in there. I don't know if I should have gone in there, but I did. Oh yeah, we are in the tower. I was wondering before, yeah, for sure. It's official. Get wrecked, fucking evil. said, oh, hi. Oh, hi, Teddy. Okay. Yeah, hit them all. And Paragon's back laying down, so... Back to me being a narcissist. What was that time? Let's just swap. Well, gosh, I guess we'll just hit him. Call it good. Disorient is such a good ability. Done. Done. 1200 XP. Alright. Alright. What? We got a valve. That means we're gonna have to use that valve somewhere. I don't know where to use that. Don't make me think, game. There's another valve down there. All right. Okay, okay. What, what am 
much you have to do over here. Done nothing. Alright, well. Reality. Next zone. Ooh, that's the big door. That's the door we're trying to get to right there. Stuck? Oh, sick. Okay, so that's one valve. Hmm. I guess we just go back through. Something else we do in this room, then. What do you want me to do, game? What do you want me to do? If we find the blue pearl, once we pull it out, the water level will go down. Uh, issue is, I have not seen the blue pearl. Oh, there it is. It's right behind here. Can't get there. Hmm. There's Valve. There's a lever. I guess I should probably try to turn the fucking valve that I got. That's probably it. Yep, never tried to, never even tried to turn it. There we go. Uh... Mystery solved. Use the puzzle that you just finished. Simple as that. What do you know? Okay, now the water level goes down. We've got the valve. like nowhere else to go, so. Uh, right. Wait. It's not time yet. Not quite yet. Soon, though. Soon. Okay, so we're going back over here. We're going to put in the second valve. We're going to turn the second valve. And there's probably some combination. Like, if I put that one up... So we've done the uh, the bottom and the middle, so time to do the top. After we grab the pearl and we exit through that door we just made, we'll actually have to go back through the bottom so that we can hit that lever there. That's what I think, anyway. Maybe a little itchy, dude. Itchy, scratchy paragon. Wackle, wackle, wackle. Where's this take me? hooking up the bottom again. And that will take us back to the lever room. Let 
don't know. Chad, what do you think we get after this puzzle? Item, progress. Rainbow conch. It's all about the conch. Oh, hey, can we jump down onto that? Nope. Nope. Push slash. There we go. Dude, I didn't know that notice that receptacle until just now either. Because I'm observant. Time to eat some food. Hearty stew. A couple roast sandwiches. Uh-huh. Chadre here. Plus 12 MP. That's a bit excessive for what I've got. It's perfect for that. Okay. Okay. Here we go, team. The energy from this door feels odd. I bet the big mystery we're supposed to find is right behind it. No handles. Can't push it open either. It's not resonating with our innate magic. Maybe we're supposed to, we're just supposed to knock? Garl with his wisdom, his folksy wisdom. Their efforts in the tower proved valiant, but alas, as fate would have it, when these events first occurred, the mysterious door remained firmly shut. Despite their best efforts in the face of this setback, our heroes were unable to reach Mesa Island in time. And the Dweller of Strife turned into a World Eater. They fought ever so bravely, but in the end, their lives and their world were lost. Thus, we arrive at the crux of tonight's musings. Single question. How far might they go should fate be given a nudge and the door that once sat closed were to be opened? Let us find out. Oh, shit! Come in. What is this place? It smells musty. Good evening, and welcome to the Great Archives. Please, excuse the mess. I tend to get absorbed in my work. <gasps> Wait, are you really? Titles are for stories and myths. Please call me Rashad. Rashad. That's even cooler than X Toll. Wait, so you're the immortal alchemist? I suppose so. Wow, I wonder if he's a bit. Okay, is the abandoned alchemy lab? Is that Rashad? Uh huh? Unreal! Alchemist, sir, we... Please, call me Rashan. <clears throat> Rashan, this is really unexpected. Yeah, we... Can't you just fix all of this then? Unfortunately, no. I am bound by a very strict code. Uh, 
There are no words to express the suffering that would ensue were I to take matters into my own hands. Worse than a dweller turning into a world leader? Not to minimize, but you must understand that in the grand scheme of things, your reality is simply one of many. By fixing your realm, I would unleash Aferil's wrath on countless others. That is unacceptable. I wonder if that's the Fleshmancer. Who's Aferil? My former associate. Where your people call me the Immortal Alchemist, they refer to Aferil as the Fleshmancer. <gasps> is he hiding somewhere here too? Your world is safe, at least in this regard. Aferil left a long time ago. Should he learn of my presence here, however? We take him on! He's nothing but a loser! Now, it appears time is of the essence. We need to get onto Mesa Island. Can you help? I might. But first, we must determine whether or not you can help yourselves. We know how to fight. Of course you do. But this matter is about whether you truly are who I am hoping you are. For now, I would send you to a remote location where, encased in the ice, lies a long-lost artifact. What kind of artifact? I will say no more at this time. If letting you in here was the proper course of action, its power will call to you. This portal leads where it for went forgotten. Recover the artifact, then I shall entertain this plan of yours. Garl's just... No hesitation. Jumps through. Hey, buddy. Hi. Yeah, you grumbling at me? The Glacial Peak. Where's Garl? Yeah, he's still in the party. I thought he, you know, went on ahead and disappeared or something crazy like that. Alright gamers, well, that's what we've got for today's episode. It was a long one today. Hopefully we can uh, get it down somewhere below five hours so that you're not uh, monotonously drudging through the entire thing on YouTube. But if you are, and you got this far, I appreciate you. Make sure to get down in the comments and say like, hey, I made it to the end, because that's sick. Um, well, YouTube, if you want to, uh, to join us and these lovely people who are talking up there on the stream, it's twitch.tv slash beard on fire. Also, you should subscribe, like it if you like it, dislike it if you don't, and we'll see you next time. Peace.